there's a new Indiana Jones movie coming up, and I'm not sure how old Harrison Ford is right now, but he's old, all right. Uh, let me let me just quick. Hello, how old is Harrison Ford? Eighty years. Wow, wow. that's even older than I thought he was. And then um, he's still um, he's still acting, uh, obviously, but he's also playing his younger self. Wow. And uh, that used to be done with a lot of makeup and the bad wigs, or they would just spray the hair gray, uh, to, uh, black to black again. But it's been done before to de-age the actors, because otherwise, when you have flashbacks in a movie, you would have to hire a mm-hmm. young actor that more or less looks a little bit like the older actor. And Iron Man is also... Uh, Did they do? Yeah, yeah. But but this this de aging technology is now also improving uh, really fast. And uh, it's deep fake. Is, is this deep fake then, or what is this? Basically, technically, it's deep fake. That's okay. right, because they used existing footage of a young Harry Tom Ford uh, to feed the AI with. And um, when when you see the result, it's very very convincing. So in like six months, one year time, it went from this. You know, it was still a little uncanny when you watched it, and and it would sometimes you could see that it was not real. The way they put small details mm. like the teeth or the movement of the lips or the eyebrows, uh, but this is now this is now a, a valley that has been crossed, and um, so this changes the business of of uh, making movies. I think uh, the whole budget is different now. You need one actor instead of two. But I love the way all these movies and series are bringing back the actors who they used 20 years ago or 15 Avatar as well. All the actors in the in the first movie. Yeah, that's interesting because the Hollywood was was often blamed for ageism, right? So yeah. they would only show attractive young people, and then especially with women, because older older actors they have a head with a lot of characters, <laughs> so they're not old; they have character. Uh, while female actresses often complain about the fact that they had a hard yep. time finding a new job, so um, so these contracts that are being signed with with uh, actors already look a lot different from six months ago. Uh, one of the things they're being asked to sign is uh, to sign away their the rights not only to their faces. Just imagine. I just hope that Harrison Ford makes it through to like 120 20 years old. He's a really interesting guy and a great actor. But let's just say that he doesn't he doesn't make it uh, until the end of the production, or they want to make another Indiana Jones. Basically, they don't need him anymore. No, because they have an AI that can play it. You know, you have a physical actor that more or less has the same physique as he yeah. does, and then. They will just use the same virtual effects, the IDHM technology to do that. So that's one thing. Um, are you as an actor when you sign on in a movie production? Well, you cope with it. To sign off the uh, the image, right? Uh, in any case, they're already being asked uh, to sign off the voice rights. So a year ago, I I've been told it was not correct, so there was a form of fake news or a misunderstanding, but it was said that Bruce Willis had signed off the rights to his voice and his face because he, he's got a, an, an illness, uh, so he cannot he can no longer act. Um, but I think that was that was like the first sign that something is going on. Being an actor, maybe it is also changing and maybe you're May, theoretically, you could have the perfect look and the perfect voice, never act a day in your life, and still make money as an actor. Yeah. So that that's an interesting thing to uh, to ponder about. <laughs>